Welcome to the first tutorial of um, Map Info Discover tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, I uh, will show you how to georeference a raster image. But before I show you, make sure that you subscribe and just place a, a bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Uh, don't don't uh, don't forget to comment and like uh, the video so in this tutorial just like I said uh, I will show you how to georeference a raster image and basically georeferencing is uh, trying to fit an image to an exact position on earth and uh, there are two methods that are used in MapInfo to georeference an image. Uh, the first method is uh, when you have uh, an image which has known uh, points. Or you have an image and you have another layer in MapInfo um, where you can correlate the points uh, in between the layer in MapInfo and the, the the point are uh, the known points in your image. I will show you uh, both scenarios. So let's begin with the first scenario. Uh, displayed here is um, a boundary of the map of Tanzania, and uh, you can see. Uh, and I have the image that I want to georeference uh, that I've cropped it from Google Earth. I'll show you the image quickly and this is the image. Uh, you see I have this image. The image has uh, a boundary of Tanzania too. But let's see what we mean by georeferencing. If this image is not georeferenced, uh, what, does, uh, what does that mean? It means if I, uh, I try to bring it into map info, which I will go file, opening, um, I'll just navigate to the folder that has an image. Um, the good thing is that I'm already in that folder and it's tutorial one, but files of type I'll say it's a raster image. You see it has brought me uh, the files uh, that are related to images. Uh, you see the this raster image one, raster image two, and this raster image. The image I want to use is the raster image, and I'll just open it, this one. You see, because it's not georeferenced, it will ask you if you want just to display the image or register the image. And for me, uh, what I want is to to register but uh, in the meantime I'll just try and display it and see what happens or oh, okay just to click display I don't see if, I don't see where the image is maybe uh, it is not zoomed to a range that we can see let me click okay I still cannot see the image but the image must be somewhere but because it's not georeference, it doesn't know where to go so that it fits the existence, the existing boundary of Tanzania. So in order for, for image to come and fit in the boundary of Tanzania, you need to georeference it. So I'll just close, it, uh, I'll just close the, the image, close it, and uh, I'll just come here it is added this uh, file. I just delete this file because this file, or this file, is generated after you open an image in Map Info. So I'll just go back again and uh, open the raster image that I want to reference, which is raster image two, and then I'll say open. You see now our register. Um, to register, you need to add points. 
I'll just go on a projection first to select the projection uh, the projection that I want to use is longitude latitude but uh, should be WGS uh, WGS 84 this one okay now I'll add the first point um, so uh, in these two um, in these two maps uh, the one which uh, with a Google Earth background and the, the one which is uh, empty here I just have to look for the points that I'm sure uh, match between the two maps so I'll add uh, the first point I'll add this point and uh, I'll just after adding the point I'll click here so that will be my first point you see my first point and I'll come and uh, pick this point from the map I'll click I'll click on the map uh, just before I do that you see here the coordinates have written 0 0 0 but um, now I want to pick from the map the known point and uh, I'll just come and um, pick it from the map you see the coordinates now have changed it is 30.39 and it, just like that so the second point that I know from uh, this boundary um, is this one which matches this one on uh, on this image I'll add another point and uh, I'll just click here click OK then uh, pick a point from the map and click OK and then I'll come to the third point uh, maybe I'll add the third point the third point is this one I'll click OK and I also come here and uh, see I've already picked the third point then I'll come to another point which is this one I'll add a point and uh, click here and click OK then I'll come and uh, click here and uh, click OK and um, then I'll come to another point which is this one you can add as many points as you want but I'll just add this as the last one just click here and uh, add this point here click OK and come here there you go um, if you are happy with uh, the points that you have added you can still add as many points as you want and uh, now if you click OK voila you can see uh, uh, it is now plotted uh, let me uh, this is another thing if you want to uh, and just a, a boundary if you want to modify your boundary I'll just do that and maybe use a red color so that I see you see it is uh, plotted but you can see see that the boundaries do not match but if I add as many points uh, as I can uh, that means it will be more accurate uh, so that is the first uh, method of um, now that is the first method of uh, georeferencing an image. Uh, just to stick around and uh, let's see the second method of how to georeference uh, the raster image in the next uh, tutorial series. Thank you very much for watching. See you then.